I'm going to teach you some powerful magics that's going to bring God in. It's going to channel God through your vessel. So if anyone's attacking you, you can bring him in and he'll go and deal with them. Also, if you want things in life or if you want to help and assist the world and bring more light into the world, when you bring him in, he can do those things for you. It can fulfill his will. And also, if you want him to assist you in things in your life, you can bring him in and you can command him or ask him to do those things and he'll do them for you. So when people say asking it is received or asking it is given, to ask is actually to kind of tell and to tell God this is what you want rather than saying, God, can I please have this? So I'm going to show you how to do that now. And we call it the magic grip. So what you'll need for this is some pine wood. So I've got two small pieces of pine, one's wrapped up in linen and one's just on its own, but I've got one for each pocket. So you can have one for each handle. It doesn't matter if you don't have two, I'll show you other ways of doing this after. So to do the magic grip, you take your hand like this and it varies depending on what ray or day it is. So you basically take your hand, you take your thumb and you put your thumb into your palm like that and that is the magic grip. So it seems like nothing, but it's actually one of the most powerful spells and one of the most powerful mudras. So you hold that grip and then with the pine, you can have the pine in your hand and you hold the grip with the pine in your hand and that's what channels in God straight away. So as soon as you hold that grip, if you hold it in the specific hand which correlates with the specific ray which I'll teach you in a sec, that instantly and automatically brings God in. You can then use some spells if you want to. God, bring me positivity. God, get rid of all black magic for me. And you can command your spells like that or just having him in in general, will he'll be working his magic through you. So obviously we've got the lower planes and we've got the higher planes and the earth is kind of the middle plane. So you can have actually beings attacking you from the lower planes. You can also have them beings or negative beings using people on this plane and basically using them as a channel to attack you. So you can be attacked from the lower planes and also the middle plane as well. The way to get rid of those attacks is by doing the magic grip, the magic hand mudra. And if you're holding pine and if it's on the right ray, if you hold your hand below the waist, that fights back and kicks back to the lower planes. So anyone and everyone that's attacking you from the lower planes, you hold that magic grip and it brings God in and it sends it back from the lower planes and he deals with them. If you hold it above the waist, this is kind of then the middle plane or you can the higher planes. And so if anyone's being attacking you from this middle plane, you can also send it back to them with by sending it back above the waist. So the ones who are on the lower planes, they're the spiritual knight and the sun who have infiltrated people on this middle plane. And then there's also the middle lights or the half lights, which are basically those who are in between and haven't yet woken up and haven't yet chosen a side almost. And then there's the light, the spiritual light who are on the higher planes and also they've incarnated in this plane at this time to assist people to come to the light. So you need to learn magic to fight back the night because if you don't choose to come to the light, the night can sometimes try and drag you down to their level. So you can use the pines by holding it literally in your hands. What you can also do is put the pine ones in your pockets. So you have one in each pocket and then you don't even need to hold the pine. You can still do the grip and it works instantly because you've got pine in your energy field. And so because you're connected or attached to that pine, you can do the mood and it brings God straight in. You don't need to be touching the pine anymore. What you can also do is use a pine staff as well. So you don't need the two smaller pieces. You can use a whole staff, do the mudra again, and that brings them in. And then if you don't have any pine, but you can see pine or even get a photo of pine online, you can connect etherically and energetically to the pine. And then once you're energetically connected, you can do that mudra again and it brings God straight in and fights them off. There's another thing, which is the way that you stand and you might have seen um, images or kind of carvings and engravements of people from ancient Egypt standing with one foot forward. It's also been like common in Mesopotamia and I noticed people standing with one foot forward. So I want to show you the way that you can do that to amplify the, your magic and your energy. If you stand with your right foot forward, that brings energy in so that's how you can charge up your energy and so you can hold the mudra as long as you've got the pine connected to you and brings god in and it charges up your energy at the same time which makes you a powerful mage for the light if you stand instead 
with your left foot forward that sends energy out so that's like once you're fully charged up then when you send that energy out it gives it an extra like push and power behind it and again you can do the mudras and it, it pushes energy out like stronger so the way that you stand amplifies your spells and your energy as well so you'll know about black magic spells in the english language and what we call the days of the week is a black magic spell and instead I call them all, we call them in the light, the rays of the septenary. So I'm going to share with you now which rays correspond to which hand to do the mudra in. So depending on what ray it is, you choose that correspondent hand to do the mudra with and that's what brings God in and that's what makes it work. So in your right hand, you want to do that mudra on choose, which is Mars rays, Wens, which is Mercury rays, and Furs, which is Jupiter rays. And then on your left hand, you do that on Fry, which is Venus rays, Sat, Saturn rays, Sun, Sun rays, and Mun, Moon rays, and then also again, Wens, which is Mercury rays. If you want to just hold it for a minute or two, just hold it firm like that and it works. Now, pine, the wood, pine wood, pine trees are used at Christmas time because it's a Christic wood. And so that is why it channels in God because it has the Christic energy of the cosmos. And if you're not feeling anything, just go off and then put it back on again. It has to kind of be sat in centre like that. With all of this stuff, it could vary depending on your person or where in the world they are or the zodiac or anything. So it's worth trying these things and experimenting, maybe writing down what you sense and feel and then kind of figuring that out for you. The last and important thing to be aware of is if you do the mudra on a wens, which is a mercury ray, what it can do is get you in ketosis. So you want to just be careful and aware if you are doing it on that ray and to be aware of your own body. And if it does get you in keto, make sure that you've had a bit of salt if you feel a bit lethargic or tired. And also make sure you're having enough B12 if you do get in. So be aware of yourself. And if it did get you in, don't do it too many times. We usually advise up to three times a day maximum, really, for doing stuff like that. So be careful of it on a mercury ray. And if you want to find out how to definitely get into keto using Ra'el magic, using mudras, spells, pine, metals, crystals, and it kind of gives you a baseline on magic and how to start off with magic, check out the book Matrix Magic by Leo. It has 20 different ways to get into ketosis in under five minutes using magic. It proves God is Rael, it proves that magic is Rael, so it's definitely worth getting. It's £3.33, the PDF. You can get it through me on PayPal or you can get it through Amazon. And if you don't like it and you bought it through Amazon, you can actually return it and then get your money back. Check it out.